Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society, and I want to talk to you some about joining an organization and being in a group is a very good thing. And that's why I strongly support the American Orthodontic Society. Uh, I've shown these videos and we have them going all over the world. There's about over 850 of them. If you just took them and analyzed them, if you knew some of the things, you could maybe do some orthodontics without any help from somebody. But it's much, much better if you join a group like the American Orthodontic Society and you have some body backing you up in different things that you may come up during your practice years. Now, I've never had anybody try to take me to court or anything like that in uh, all these years, but, but things can happen and you can't tell. So I, I want people to come join a group and we call it the American Orthodontic Society, and it is an active group, and I've been in it since it started 50 years ago, and I wanted to keep this organization going, and that's why I put a lot into it, and I am interested in us doing everything here the best way you can do orthodontics. I'm not, I don't want to train anybody to bunch, do a bunch of nonsense stuff in here. So everything I've tried to do, I hope that it is good and honest things. And if you find a better way to do it, just let me know and I'll go in and change what we're doing here. But I have done every every aspect of orthodontics I can think about and try to get the most efficient, easiest, best way to get it done for people. So I'm going to show you the ultimate now on doing orthodontics and restorative dentistry is just a natural thing you mix into orthodontics. So uh, Hope you'll stick with me on this, and I'm going to get started. Now, this case I did seven years ago, and we've had, uh, the last I looked, is something like 29,000 people all over the world have looked at this case. And if you want to see it in detail, maybe you can find another way we've done it earlier down there, but let's get going. I don't have that much time today to go in completely. Now this is the lady, and she has a good face, and you can do things. I mean, look at the different sections of the face like that. I mean, it's, it's good. You can do a lot of things with somebody like this. And this is, we got it going and this is some of the stuff after we had started doing this. Now here is the models when they start out. And you might look at this and just throw your hands up and, and if you're not used to doing it, but you can do this type of work. Now we've got a deep bite. I've got videos, a score of them, showing how to open the bite on anybody alive. You don't care how old they are, any, anybody. You can open their bite and you can raise these teeth up and bring these down from inside and level it out and line it all up and you can expand the, the arch like that but you got it laid out and if you use a big daddy to, to, to expand it very much you got to go in and put a rectangular arch wire in there and put some progressive root torque in there. 
and you'd have to, I've got videos trying to show that too. Okay, let's get on with this restorative stuff. And I don't think there's anybody that we have an organization that if they pass the boards in this, they should be able to do this type of orthodontics. And here is this one side. I mean, we have a problem. I mean, look how this is worn down. We've got a closed bite, the low anterior it hits up underneath there. This tooth hits here, keep that from going, pushing this one down even worse. So what we did, you look at the x-rays, you're gonna have some wisdom teeth back there. We'll straighten this tooth up and bring it up here and it'll be something like that. Now we have to bring this forward too. All right, on the other side, you've got a tooth hanging down too far right here. And this is in wrong, and there's a tooth up here. We were thinking of, that you may have to take it out, a wisdom tooth down here. And we want to move all three of these teeth up into a class one relation. Straighten this tooth up, put it up in this gap right here. Lower these teeth down bring these teeth out and line this up. You can do all of this stuff. And if it wasn't, if we didn't call it restorative industry, you could do it. You'd think, well, I can do it. I want you to know you can do this. And don't be afraid to get in there and get with it and learn how if you have, have it. And we are the one organization that I can send people to. Uh, people ask, where can I go to get this kind of work? I have no idea. We're going to try to start meetings that are out all over the world where you can get on your computer and we'll try to teach stuff to people everywhere in the world. So anyway, let's see what we did here. All right, that's the upper close up. You see where the lower teeth have been digging into the side of these bottom teeth down here. Now, restoring your natural teeth is by far better than anything you can do it with. Now, there's nothing wrong with implants. If that you've got to have an implant, get an implant and they're good. Or if it's bridge work, it's good, it can do that if that's better than the implant. But if you can move your own teeth into the room position where they are, that to me is the best way to do it and it is the most economical way. And if you're going to do orthodontics, you just do that along while you're doing the orthodontics. And so it's not something that you uh, just spend so much time with and there you can do this as you're doing the other orthodontic work. All right, the bottom is crowded and we're going to straighten that out. We're definitely not taking any teeth out in this type of work. All right, here we are down the way a ways. We have raised this up, pushed this down and we have a rectangular wire in there now. So if we expand this arch, we'll put some, what we call progressive root torque in there. We want, as we push this out with a bigger wire right here, you want to bring your molar teeth out. You want something to do, like if this is the gap right here, and we want to tilt that tooth in that direction and we're going to have to come back in here and twist that wire till it has that to pull it down and that pulls the root of the tooth back toward the bone, I mean over here. But if you didn't have something big to support it, instead of buccal root torque, you'd get lingual crown torque. It's moving like that. Got videos showing that too. Now, so we've leveled this out. We're way into the treatment. I don't want to kind of, you, I have a, this in more detail and show you how to do it if you need to do that.
part. We start closing the teeth together and we just bring everything back in. Now there's, she had nothing up here, no wisdom teeth or anything. So you need one implant on this tooth right here, this case. And this was a shell crown on that and it cracked and she'll get that redone. All the rest of this is just regular orthodontics. You just move it together and forget about the restorative dentistry if that scares people off. I mean, okay. Now here is that we have to put a little bend in here and stuff like that. It's different things of lining the teeth up all right, you can see a little bit more what we're doing now. When first people were talking about doing this, this is what they were thinking of doing. And we're gonna extract this tooth up here. And you're gonna push this up and pull that in, and that would you just end the teeth, teeth right there. Over here, and we're gonna bridge this, something like that. We take this out, take this out, and fix teeth up that way. All right, this lady is 48 and three months old right there. So we started working on it and I didn't want to do this. So we started moving her teeth together and we move these and bring this up from here. And it didn't matter if you had a root canal on the tooth, we could move it still. Now we've moved all that forward. Now this will be coming in, and we may not wait to it. We'll just have it fixed where that'll stay, and then they'll, we come in and put the bottom tooth back where it touches that tooth again. And over here, we didn't take the, the wisdom teeth out. We put it up there like that, and you can look how far it came. And this is the finished job on this. But yet she had to have some crowns made. We closed this, I left a little acrylic here to keep the labial wire right on this area. We go in there, we open the bite, we put a bite plate on it. And that's class one relation there it is when we started, it was 11. This is a bad picture here, but that's the only one I had of that particular side. Now here's the bottom arch was crowded and everything. So we just backed that up and filled it up like that. Put a bonding three to three down here. And now we read, she did redid this crown right here, and I think she crowned this tooth too uh, in that area. And then there's that wisdom tooth up above that came in, and it's coming together there. Now here is an 040 where we had gotten to. And here's 04, we had uh, the retainers in there. Now here's the upper. We got a bite plate to keep the bite from deepening again. And that's the lower arch with the retainer in it. There's the upper teeth, the lower teeth, and they're gonna on that and close that space up there. And here's 05. There it is. And 
this is what we ended up with. Now, this is so much better than if we'd have put bridges and implants and removed the wisdom teeth. We saved the wisdom teeth, saved everything she had in here. Now, this is kind of the ultimate of mixing orthodontics with restorative dentistry. And there's nothing f fantastic about it. It's just doing the best orthodontics you can do with this. And this is what can be done. I don't care who says you can't move. She was 49, I think, when we started, 48, or and she was 50 years old before we got into this. But now she has a full set of teeth and she's still got them and I'll bet you this lady will have those in the end of her life. They'll be there. So I hope you'll I really want to put this across and I want our organization to feel free to do this. If you want somebody to help you, guide you through it or you can take this what we put out there and if you are really innovative you can learn how to do it but it's much better if you have somebody to take you by the hand and show you some things along the way now people around all over the world have looked at this and we've had an unusual a number of people looked at it the last I looked was 29 thousand something views of it. So I'm not proud of that. I am proud though that you can do this and I want our organization to be able to take you by the hand and take you through this type of orthodontics. So thank you for watching and I'm going to sign off here and uh, hope you'll take this seriously and I talked about doing this at the board meeting and nobody said well we don't have anybody to do that but we do have people can do this and so I know they are there so thanks again and I want people to come out of the woodwork and help us with this thanks again and I want to sign off